Crazy Mike, crazymikesapps.com with an iPad app demo for Simplex Spelling Phonics 2 by Pixwise Software. This application is in the education category as iOS Universal, currently on sale for only 99 cents for a limited time during a launch special. This children's education app is packed with 650 high-frequency words segmented into 54 different lessons to create a whopping one-year spelling curriculum to help your child improve their reading and spelling skills. Now, up at the top left, a very important button right off the bat. We're going to tap on this button with the plus sign and the person. User accounts. You can have up to 40 different users using this application. It's great for a classroom environment, group environment, or family. These are all the lessons, and you can scroll down and see there are, in fact, 54, and they go alphabetically from top to bottom. There's an introduction to give you an overall view of this application and the lessons. Now, I'm going to tap on the first lesson in compound words. I can look at the words there by tapping on the eyeball. It returns a word list that we will be working on in this lesson. Once the lesson is highlighted yellow, you can tap here to pick up where you left off, which is the top button, or we can start over here, which is going to provide us an introduction, so let's hear the introduction. This lesson will give you more practice with compound words. You will notice that there is always a syllable break between the two base words of the compound word. Each lesson is prefaced or beginning with an introduction to what is going to be learned in that lesson. Down here there are some extra buttons. This is the score button. Show scores. No scores. Show scores. And it's a great button to use if a child's going into a more difficult lesson. You can turn it on practice to help encourage them. The button there with the person pointing at the square is to hear the introduction over. And then this is the button to get into Star the lesson. Fish. Starfish. Gabriel and Claire searched the title pools for starfish. Starfish. Each word will start like that with the word pronounced, used in a sentence, and then pronounced again. In the top right, you'll see how many words are actually in the lesson, and these are all the letters. We have our letters down here, and again, we have some additional buttons in the center. That is, again, the introduction button. The text bubble is to hear the word pronounced again and used in a sentence, and this is the syllable button. Starfish. Starfish. And you use the syllables, or you get to hear the syllables that way. There's also a hint a button. St R well, they pronounce out the letters or letter combinations that make the sounds. S and you can hear, again, there's a C that can make the same sound, but it would be incorrect in this case, obviously, because it, starfish doesn't start with a C. Tap on S, and you'll notice when a word or, or a letter is correct, rather, when it turns green. Now, we know that the second letter is T in starfish. We can tap on hint, and it will put a little sunburst behind the T. Now, you can drag the T up there, or you can tap on the letter to put it in the box. And that is how you spell words. Look for the R. Also, if you have a correct letter, but in the wrong place, it will turn blue. So we'll put the F in here, and the I, and then we have an S. Well, let's put a T in there. So we know T is wrong, it stays red, but we can move the F, and when we do, and it's in the right place, it'll turn green, as will the I and the H, but the T is still wrong, so we need to take the S, put it up there, and the T will disappear. We get brilliant. Now you'll get different stars, silver and gold, for completing different accomplishments. One, not having any mistakes while spelling a word. To go on to the next word, you press the double arrows there. But you have an arrow button here, you can pop down, you can go home, or you can go into, again, the next word. Let's go back home. And we're going to jump into the long syllable, and we will start that lesson this all over. This will give you more practice with the long A at the end of a syllable. And we're going to go ahead and jump in here. Navel. Navel. Jack brought a navel orange to school for lunch. Navel. In this case, you're going to notice there are silver around the first two letters and black around the rest. The black represents an unstressed sound. So you tap here at the arrow at the upper top and you're going to pull up a navigation menu. In this case you have a help button which is where the cluster help mark menu. is. And when you pull up the help menu it gives you an explanation for any of the buttons that you tap on. Here's the syllable button. The syllable button lets you see and hear the word broken into its syllables. And again you get an explanation for the black around the box, a green check which means it's correct, and you can find out what all of those symbols mean. Nay, vel. 
navel. Jack brought a navel orange to school for lunch. Navel. So again, we would go ahead and drag our letters or tap on our letters to complete the word. So we know that's not right, so this is a good app for Crazy Mike. And we got excellent with a little bit of a sound. Now we're going to tap here and exit out of here. And when you go out of here, again, tap here, you have some additional buttons. You have your progress. A progress button and you can go through here and see if you want to have it off of mastered you can see practice mode and see what my progress is in practice mode how many times I've met you know did I master it how many attempts it took me to get it right and so on again tap here to go home tap on the arrow button the settings are here settings. as well and you can change the voice volume the sound effects the times to master again you can change that however you like with the slider here so if you want to challenge yourself or increase your difficulty you can do that and you can see the language is there the success message can be turned on or off and you can have letters upper or lower case it's entirely up to you as well as the keyboard layout as well tap on home tap on the arrow again you can email them for support you can find out more information about the developer by tapping on the I that's it for this iPad app demo. Until next time, this has been Crazy Mike from Crazy Mike's Apps saying see ya.